So we remain unbeaten, another three points, clean sheet as well. Uh, what are your thoughts on today's game? Well, I mean, I, I, it was a story of probably missed chances for us. Um, obviously, um, Bishop Storff had come in with the same record as us. They've had a win and a draw in their opening two. Um, in tough games as well, Alf Church in the least in a way. Um, uh, two tough, really tough games, so two great results for them. And, uh, I, I managed to get a bit of footage on them from the Alf Church game. Uh, the big, strong, uh, obviously... Um, uh, they got one or two players in on the Friday. Uh, Greg Halford didn't play in that first game and played at Leiston. Um, so there was a, some incoming as well that I didn't know too much about. But I knew their shape and I knew that they were going to stick it on us and set plays. Obviously Steve uh, in charge <coughs> is well versed in the divisions. Had, a, had a, some really good sides at Royston. So it was always going to be tough. But I mean, I, I, I lost count of how many guilt edge chances we missed. and. In the end, you're sort of thinking when right at the end there, when they're lumping balls um, from sort of from deep free kicks, and you think someone's going to drop here, and we're going to end up getting a point out of something we should be out of sight in. But um, obviously, the sending off helped. I mean, that's three sendings off in three games. I, I don't know why it was, <clears throat> but at the moment, it's like every tackle's a booking or a or or, or a red. And I just don't understand it. Uh, I really don't. I mean, we've had three games now, uh, and in the first two, we've had seven cautions, and we've been fined. Um, we had a meeting with the chairman about it on on uh, Thursday, and, and there ain't been a bad tackle in the game. You know what I mean? And it's like, come on! I, I know it's early, and you, you have to try and do what the assessors have told you to do, and all that. But you, you can't you can't book players for everything. It's ridiculous. We're going to be seeing this every week. You know, ten against eleven, ten v ten. So it is what it is. But yeah, I mean, listen. I think we deserve to win. I don't think there's any two ways about that. But. Um, that's, you know, I said, I've said it. We've got loads to work on, and when we do, we do work on it. Um, you know, we've got to be certainly more ruthless than we go for, but a lot cleverer as well to see a game out. You know, we're, we're throwing in long throws with like two minutes. Of, what are we doing? And then getting the ball wide and crossing it. Why? What are you doing? And what do we benefit from that? They had it out, and we're running back again. Keep it in the corner. But that's young, naive players, and we've got a lot of youngsters in there, really. Obviously, had a kind of missing today. Brad had a good session today. He'll have two more next week, and he'll be sort of looking to be back in contention. Cartels now starting to make headway with his foot. So, you know, in, in the coming uh, next few games, there's going to be some decisions to be made. But um, yeah, all in all, I'm delighted. Delighted with the seven out of nine. Uh, delighted with the start. Um, you know, and, and we've just got to work hard and improve and try and keep moving forward if we can. So one of those decisions you made today was changing shape slightly. We went to four at the back. Um, was that reflective of what you thought on our team, or was it? And was it what you analysed from Bishop Stortford? Bit of both. Bit of both. Certainly Stortford with a four-two-three-one. <coughs> We've been counter-attacked a bit when we've in, in the previous two games when we've been going forward um, and and I thought you know that they tend to leave too high and wide and, and a 10 in the pocket so Max Martin in there patrolling that 2v1 with the centre halves and then just make sure that we're, we're diligent because uh, they didn't really track us back when the full, our full backs joined in they just sort of stayed wrong side of them hoping for the counter um, so it was a little bit to counteract that I mean obviously Crano suspended Will Harris has been really unlucky not to, to get a start because he did brilliantly in pre-season. Um, two full-backs have done really well since they came in, so you got Brad coming back into that at some stage. You know, so there's, there's decisions to be to be made, but the, the decision to change. I know that Steve was here on Monday, and it was just to just to to change it a little bit, throw a little bit, not a curveball, but you know, we, we worked at. 4141 at Starport. Um, we've worked with a back three with a, with a box and, and one up. We've worked with a back three and five two. So we've got a few things we can do either pre game or during games. So, and that was always the plan through pre season. That's why. I wanted to look at things from up, up above because it was important that we that we managed to get some ground rules down. Now, listen, we're still very, very much learning. We're, we're miles away from where I want to be. Um, I'd, I'd say if I give us a percentage out of 100, that, you know, 100 obviously, then it'd be about 60 today. Um, and we could have scored a lot of goals, but we've got 
just shed loads to do, shed loads. So with that much work to do, we've got a week's break now. Um, <clears throat> And we're away to Stratford. They're also on the same points, both yeah. on seven. Uh, it's going to be a tough test. But what do you what do you make of that uh, clash next week? Well, we've got that double header on the right bank holiday. Yeah. Um, so obviously Stratford away first on the Saturday, and then Starbridge here. Uh, I mean, there's no there's no shortage of local games in, in this area in this division. Yeah, Stratford. <coughs> yeah, listen, they, they, they've got they're just another one of those sort of probably seven or eight teams that have, that have got. Clearly, a big budget uh, and and a huge squad. Um, a lot, and there's a lot of quality within their squad. So, uh, I would expect both of those games to be our hardest of the season. I mean, Stratford have scored three goals twice in the first half. Uh, I know they drew today, did they? Um, but yeah, really tough game. We're going to have to be right bang on it um, to get anything at all from either of them. Um, and we've got you know work to do this week to try and get something out of them. But um, yeah, listen, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Sometimes you, you sit there thinking, well, what about him? What about him? What about him? And what, what, what about us? Do you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> in the end, we've got one or two uh, that can that can hurt opposition. You know, a pace up top. You know, my job is to try and analyse our opponents and try and come up with something to, to beat them. And not just my job, um, Brian's and, and, and Callum's and, and all the staff. So, yeah, listen, we're. we're as you say, we've got two sessions. A week sounds a long time, but it's actually only two sessions. Um, and I've already got things that I want to look at on Monday. And, um, you know, set pieces for a start, attacking set pieces at times. I, I, I don't know why we put them up on the wall it's, uh, and, and we do them because it's, it's like, well, what, I don't want you listening to. <laughs> it was miles off it. Um, and if we start getting spiteful at them, then uh, we are creating chances in open play. So. Uh, yeah, I'm expecting two really, really tough games, and you start to look and think, well, thank God we've got seven points on the board because you know you could come out of that weekend with now, but um, you know we, we, we certainly will be going into it with confidence. Um, I think they've earned the right to be confident, the players. And uh, listen, what we will do is go there, have an idea what we what we want to do, have a plan, and, and have a right good go at it. Lastly, I just wanted to touch on. Two players in midfield, both on loan. Ruben got his goal today and uh, Max had his first start in a red shirt and they were both very, very impressive. Um, but I just wanted your thoughts on those yeah, two. Yeah, very good. Listen, Max, Max wants to, to play centre-half. I think he thinks that that's his best chance of getting the Solihull's picture. Um, but he's also a very good midfield player. Um, and he was in that obviously in that pivot position uh, in that 4 3 3 4 one, four, one. So he could drop into that almost to make a three or a five. Do you know what I mean? Um, because obviously we were expecting a, a, an aerial onslaught. Um, but yeah, did really well. Um, Ruben, listen, Ruben's a really good footballer. Um, um, got got quality on the ball. Listen, he was trending in treacle a little bit. He needs to get it used to this kind of football because it can go a little bit basketball match. But two, two really good players. Harry Emmett, who's another loan at left back. Really, really impressive you know Leeson's come in and done a really really good job uh, technically very good player so um, yeah see him talking I hope he didn't hear that um, so you know he's but he's done done really well um, so there's a lot of them that are doing great um, but our job as, as a group of staff is to try and improve them uh, if I could just say our best wishes go to the gentleman who um, whatever happened he fell or whatever he looked in, in a bit of distress so all our thoughts at the club are with him and, and his family and I hope he's I hope he's okay so um, but hopefully the, the win will cheer him up.